So in the first video, we talked about the basics, really just about letting the dog exit the kennel. What we're gonna do, what we need to do, is we want the dog to practice the behavior that we want in gradually longer iterations. So in this case, we want to practice having the dog be calm inside the kennel. They say for humans, the hardest part about being thrown in jail is hearing this, the door close. And you saw right there when I closed it, she got up. Oh, are you about to leave me? Well, when I do this, there's nothing to, nothing to fight against because I can just leave. There's nothing but air. So that's why we move away from the couch the way that I showed you in the other video uh, by stepping away. So I had to elevate myself to get more authority. So what we're going to do, and I might as well just stand up and you might not be able to see my head for this, but this is okay. So I'm, again, I'm going to wait for her to SIT. Now, anytime she tries to come out, I'm going to hiss and rush forward at the same time. Now, she, her head is sticking out a little bit, but none of her paws are. So I'll take a step back, left, right. That's my way of saying I disagree. But hey, your timing, again, has to be really good. So now I'm going to stay another step back and I wait. If the dog is calm, I can take another step back. Now, if your dog is a dog that dashes, you don't want to move too far away. This would be about the maximum distance initially. Eventually, when it gets to the point where you can go sit down in a chair across the room. So now she's kind of staring at me. Now, when they usually with LAY, they can, no, there we go. Uh, they kind of go to the back of the kennel and circle around when they're about to LAY. So as soon as she sat down, I took a step back. What we're going to do now is I'm going to basically wait for her to LAY or keep on repeating this exercise until she starts LAYing within 15 seconds. So I'm going to keep repping it and don't rush and don't tell her to do it, but we, she has to do it on her own. When she starts going in LAYing within 15 seconds, that's why as soon as she LAYs the first couple of times, we let her out immediately. So that tells her... Tss, that tells her the way to get out is by laying down. So once we've established that, then we're ready to go to the next stage. The next stage is to actually start increasing the amount of time the dog stays in the kennel before we let them out. So once she, let, she starts LAYing within 15 seconds of going in the kennel, with the door open, uh, or, or of opening the door, excuse me, uh, then we're going to basically wait another 15 seconds after she LAYs. There we go. So now we're going to wait 15 seconds, then we're going to give her the command to come out. Now, when she's, she's comfortable at that stage, then we're going to move up to the next one where she, we're going to, after she lays down, we're going to make her wait 30 seconds, then 45, then one minute. Then we're going to go by one minute increments up to about 10 to 20 minutes, somewhere in that, for, in that range. Once you get to about 15, 10, 15, or 20, you can try going by fives. Now, if you try to make it a five minute, go from 20 to 25, and she starts whining at 22 minutes or 23 minutes, we can't go five, so we have to go by maybe two and a halfs. So always back up one and find an iteration or a duration the dog is able to stay in there. The whole point of this is she has to stay completely calm. She can't whine or, or throw a protest. If she does, that means we pushed her too far too fast. When we get to the point where we've reached two hours, you're, that's the maximum amount of time you need to have a dog to, to practice for a dog to understand or to be able to do it beyond the two hours. So the first time we're gonna do this, we're gonna work our way up by one minute, you know, 15, 30, 45, one minute, five minutes, however, many, however you get up to two hours. But just make sure it's short iterations, you don't go from a half an hour to an hour um, on, the, on one step. Now, once we get up to two hours, then we're gonna basically repeat the whole process, but this time we're gonna do it with the door closed. Now, this is something you should do only when you're home. Now, while you're transitioning this, it would be much more effective and you'll move a lot faster is if you can take her to doggy daycare rather than putting her in the kennel during the day. That will be a major setback if you put her in here and lock her into it. What we want her to do is practice being in the kennel in this calm frame of mind while the human is here. Off camera we talked about, I think it was off camera, about how the dogs panic when they're in a kennel and then the human leaves them. Now I'm dealing with two things. What we want to do is practice this while you're home on those days a week that you work from home. And that way, you know, she's only dealing with one thing, which is getting used to being in the kennel or practice being calm in the kennel. Now, once we get up to the point where we can get the dog to stay in there for two hours, then we're ready to take the next stage. We're going to talk about the next stage in the next video.